Hi buddies! I know I shared with you my little moving postcards of Amsterdam, but I've been waiting and waiting and waiting to show you some of the fun things that I picked up while I was in Europe and I feel like today's the day. Partly because some of them are Christmas themed and it just just seemed right to share them with you before Christmas. I want to start out and show you the thing that I think I'm most delighted to have brought home and that is this little post office. I bought this at a Christmas market in Aachen, Germany. We took a little road trip from Amsterdam to Germany one day while it was there and the Christmas market takes place in the shadow of this beautiful cathedral which I still like can't get over. And we got glow wine and we walked around and got some goodies to eat on the way home. And just, it was so Christmassy, I couldn't even handle it. And one of the stalls there had the whole giant, amazing, incredible German Christmas village. And I was just drooling. I loved them so much. And my only regret of this entire interaction is that there was also a lighthouse and I didn't buy it because I was trying not to go overboard on spending and bringing home breakable things. <laughs> Basically, while standing there, I said to my friend Jake and Caroline, my friends, what if they have a post office? Like, that's what I really want. And I don't speak German, <laughs> but um, we, we spotted this and the lady who was selling them didn't speak English. And we just had this beautiful moment where I was standing there and I was like, I can do this. I know this is my first real international trip and I was out of my comfort zone. Um, but basically I was like, if, <laughs> if there is any snail mail magic in the world, I can pull this off. So I pointed at it, I was like, post? And she looked at me and she got this big smile on her face and she was like, yeah, post. It was so good. So she found it for me, grabbed it off the shelf and boxed it up. I got to bring it home. And now it's in in my home for the holidays. And honestly, it's gonna be difficult for me to put away. It may just end up being a year wrecked post office, but I love it so much. And if I ever get the chance to go back, I will definitely get the lighthouse because I've been thinking about that one as well. But I wanted to share that with you. I thought you would appreciate that story. I also picked up this little Christmas Nomi guy at the airport in Iceland. I really enjoyed the Icelandic Christmas traditions that were shared all over that airport. Like, so very much. The, the naughty Yule lads and their cat that will eat you if you don't get new clothes for Christmas? What's not to love? Like, what's not to love? So this was a fun little guy that I got to bring home from Iceland because it also made me feel all kinds of Christmas cheer. All kinds of fun things. This beautiful book was a gift from my friend Caroline. It's Flow Paper Lovers magazine, and it is filled with the most like, incredible like letter writing sheets and stickers and things you can like pull out and make paper craft. Like the whole thing is just incredible. And it's like just chock full of incredible paper. I've been using some of it in my new traveler's journal, which I'll also show you, but I wanted to share this. I'm not sure where this is published. I should really have looked that up. It looks like they are based in the Netherlands. Okay, they're based in the Netherlands. And like, this is so magical. And apparently they put this out every year. I, oh, look at this one. Where did it go? So cool. Anyways, it was just the most incredible gift from Caroline. So thoughtful. And I'm looking forward to including it in lots of fun things for years to come. While I was there, I went to probably equally as many stationery stores and plant shops. And I couldn't bring any plants home with me because you're not supposed to do that. But I did find these cute bookmarks at the store named Wilderness. I follow them on Instagram and I've been drooling over their store for a long time. So I was excited to bring these home. While in the Iceland airport as well, I'm just gonna go down the stack as is, they had these really cool packages of 50 Icelandic stamps. And it's like, yeah, I'm gonna buy that. So I bought it and they're all like absolutely incredible. Again, I've been using them in my traveler's journal and I'm sure I will pop them on lots of snail mail to come. Not that they will do me any good as postage, but they're all really lovely and super fun to have. 
and most of them aren't canceled, which is kind of cool. This is probably the most, well not, I bought a lot of postcards, we can't say that. I was gonna say this is the most touristy thing I bought, but I'm a postcard shopper. But I got this set of Christmas cards that have the beautiful Dutch buildings on them. I just liked this like long skinny format. It has Dutch on the inside. I really liked it. I have not sent them yet. They're, they're winter timey because of the, like, the glitter snow. They may go out in January and that's okay, but I thought they were really fun. The box got beat to heck in my suitcase. Um, I went to a stationery store. The name of it is J. Vlieger. They've been in business since 1869 which blew my mind, just absolutely blew my mind. And while I was there, I just drooled over everything. I was obsessed. I picked out this cool maps set. It's historical maps and it's different labels and stickers and tapes and things. And of course, I just love maps. And they had, they had stickers that featured Amsterdam, which I needed for my traveler's journal, of course. I love having lots of extra little fun like stickers and things to put on snail mail. So I enjoyed that. I picked up a set of airmail envelopes because I just really love them and I want them around. You probably saw the many, many Netherlands mailbox postcards that I sent while I was there. And orange is like the color of the Netherlands. Um, like the royal family's last name is orange. Like what? Amazing. So I love a country with a color. I love orange. There are not very many orange post boxes out there. Like most countries are red or yellow or blue. Orange is kind of unusual. So I loved that and I had, hold on, do I have the stickers? I had postcards that I sent. I had stickers that I shared when, whenever appropriate. And so while I was there, I wanted to pick up a pen as a souvenir. And so I picked up a Coeco, Coeco Sport in this beautiful orange color. And I had not had a Coeco. They are German made. I know lots of people swear by them and enjoy them. They are more expensive to buy here than they are in Amsterdam. I spent about like 20 euros on this little guy and I love this pen. I've been really impressed with the quality for the price and it is this like fun little tiny form factor. It's plastic so I don't feel too weird about popping it in my purse without a case. And the lid comes off and when it posts it makes it a really nice, I have small hands, lady hands, but it makes it a really nice um, size for writing. Um, I like the nib. I think mine is a medium and yeah, a medium. And I've just really enjoyed writing with it. I have sort of an antique brown, like warm brown color ink in it right now. And I've been writing with it like crazy. So that was one of the, the fun souvenirs that I brought home. I figured a pen would be something that I would use all the time to remind me of the trip. So I'm glad that I picked that up. I have other things, but this was one of the things I brought home. We went to the Hortus Botanicus in Amsterdam, which is the botanical garden. And I just think that Hortus Botanicus sounds like a spell from Harry Potter. Like, become a plant. Hortus Botanicus. And I love plants and I love botanical gardens. So I really enjoyed going there and I really liked this illustration for a little, a little tote bag. So. I probably could have just put everything that is in this big pile right here in this bag. That would have been smart. I didn't do that. Doki, while we were there, I also went to a stationery store called Miscellaneous. I also follow them on Instagram and my friends, Jake and Caroline, both have traveler's journals and have been showing me theirs and telling me about them. And I have looked at them for many years and sort of been like, well, someday, maybe. And I wanted to look at them in person. I wanted to have some options and um, there aren't a ton of official travelers stores. There is one in Portland, Oblation. They are absolutely lovely and carry my cards, are a customer of ours. And I'm gonna have to go down there because I am hooked, like I'm hooked. I got the, is this the blue? Yeah, or the teal, I don't know. I got the blue cover, it's just absolutely, <laughs> I love it. And you know, I've been carrying it around, it's getting scuffed, but it's like, like a real traveler, going places with my journal. And I bought a couple of extra inserts. I have one for watercolor paper, and then this one's a 2020 planner, which I think is really cool. I'm excited to try that. But for now, I have just been using the basic blank one. 
I'll show you some of these pages, but just like the basic blank one and also a craft paper one. Looks kind of like this. I got the zipper pouch here in the front, which is full of all kinds of exciting things. I have all kinds of stickers and tapes and doodads and I collect a lot of like ticket stubs and things, but I haven't really had a place to put them. Sometimes I'll stick them in my other, like my work notebook, but this just feels really good. So I've been kind of like finding all the fun things that I want to eventually include. And I'll just show you a few pages because I've been having a lot of fun. It's just like writing about my trip and um, including like I had a few extra stamps and some stickers. And of course, you know, my own stickers I've been including. Um, it just felt really important to me to capture as much as I could of this first European trip. It was so special. Cordis Botanicus. There's a wilderness and this was the restaurant we went and had brats and drank beer in Germany. And just snail mail themed things. And some plants, because I love plants. In a little envelope that I put a little mailbox in. <laughs> and I have a baby Yoda sticker because I'm a nerd. Anyways, I just like pictures of people I love, stickers and things that I'm enjoying. I did pick up one of the brass clips and I got the one with the airplane on it. It says, have a nice trip, which I didn't think was gonna be important, but the idea with these is that you clip them you clip them and then when you're writing it holds it holds that page open which is really cool and useful and also it's like a just a beautiful object anywho you all may be traveler's notebook pros you may have had one for years or know all about them but there i am new to them and have been enjoying working on mine and just having a, a little special place to keep things from my journeys and also bringing it home and just writing about my normal life makes it feel like I'm <laughs> continuing the adventure here, which is a nice feeling. So that is one of the big investments that I made on the trip. And it'll always be special to me knowing that this came back with me from Amsterdam. I don't buy myself very many things. Life is just, you know, there's bills to pay and things to do. I just really enjoyed this opportunity to pick up some some really special things that I will remember. I told you I bought postcards. I wasn't lying to you. I bought postcards and I'm just gonna, I'm gonna quickly like a bunny, share them all with you, go through them because if you're here, you probably love this kind of stuff too and it's fun and you know, why the heck not. Most of these are from Amsterdam and a few are from Germany. We're just gonna, we're gonna go through it. We're just gonna flippity flop right through them and hopefully put some exciting music behind it so you're not bored to tears. All right. Muddy. Teeth. We went to the Van Gogh Museum while I was there. And so a lot of these art ones are Van Gogh pieces. I also lost my wallet at the Van Gogh Museum and then found it again. I'm an adult. Daffodils, ladybugs. Some more postcards from Wilderness Store. We did a lot of furniture shopping while I was there since I was helping my friends settle into their new home and I loved the aesthetic of um, the Dutch style. So beautiful. is me when I'm an old lady with my plants. And this is the storefront for the wilderness plant shop. Love it. We are going to be really cool old ladies. <laughs> Some Delft blue. Right? Saying that right? Yeah, I know things. Some more Van Gogh. When we were on our road trip, every time I saw a windmill, I screamed, windmill! Which was probably annoying, but did I continue to do it? Yeah, yes. Yeah, 
furniture. We rode bikes while I was there. I rode a bike everywhere and I had so much fun. Ugh, I need to get my bike out. And it's really hilly here, so I don't know where I'll ride it, but it's also raining nonstop. You know, you know, no, we're, we're not gonna worry about that. More wilderness. We looked this one up and it basically means you bring the tree, I'll bring the wine, which is chef kiss. And these ones are from the town in Germany that we went to, the big cathedral. And that was it. Those are the postcards. Usually while I'm on a trip, I would buy postcards at my destination and write them and send them from the destination. This time around, I knew I wanted to send a lot. I ordered a hundred of these and addressed 86 of them <laughs> before I left the house, which actually helped me a lot. So I didn't have to bring my address book. I had them all ready to go. So while I was there each night, I'd sit down and write like 20 postcards with things that we did during the day and things that I enjoyed and things that I thought were interesting. And then bought all the stamps at the end of my trip and mailed them all. And the lady at the grocery store where I bought the stamps was looking at me like I was a crazy person. She must have thought like, this crazy American does not understand how the world works. I don't know. But basically I was like, no, 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 I need 15 books of stamps. And she was like, that's a lot of stamps. And I was like, yes, and I need them. And she was like, you cannot bring them back. And I was like, I don't want to. I want to send an obscene dollar amount of postcards right now. Very important to me. So that is what I did. So that's just a little bit of a taste of my trip to Europe. I just had such an amazing time and a few weeks have passed since I got home and I just, I, I'm never gonna forget it. It was really special. Seeing my friends was so important to me and I can't wait to go back eventually. So I hope that you enjoyed seeing some of these goodies that I picked up on my trip and I hope that you are awesome and I'm gonna go shrink myself down so that I can move into this tiny house, okay? All right, I'll see you later. Little soup is I wonder if anyone will notice that it's still me in the same spot in a different outfit. There's eggnog in this. Hi. <coughs> Who are you looking at? No, 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 I don't, I don't, I don't, okay. Just for a second, just for the people. Come on. Oh, good job. Wow. <laughs> that was impressive. I'm impressed. Can you say hello to the people? Can you, can you, can you? I know, I know. I, I have a lot of things to show the people though, so I, I can't really include, include you in this one. And you didn't want to be a mail carrier. Remember, we tried that. Okay, all right. Go lay down. Go lay down. Good girl. It's snail mail superstar time, Lola. It's just, ah, feels so good. Okay, let's see. Hold, please. Oh, this is an outrageous number of I also follow them on Instagram. But look, oh my, oh my. Okay. Could I have done this off camera? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Could have. Did I? Oh.